Hi, I'm Abby. I'm a sophomore. I'm Katie. I'm a senior. Jane Wiles, head coach. Well, first of all, guys, congrats on the victory today, moving on to the regional final. Coach, start with you. Um, how much did it help in game preparation to have played Messiah, not only last year in the tournament, but play them this year and to beat them in the regular season? Yeah, it was huge for our confidence. They're definitely a different team today than we played six weeks ago. Um, they've really improved tremendously through, throughout the, the fall. I was really impressed with um, how well they played today, but it was it was great to have played them and have a little bit of experience against them. Um, I think it helped us uh, manage a little bit better on defense and also find some of those seams on the attack. Uh, you guys had a lot of corners, a lot of chances, and it took a little while to break through. What was kind of the feeling on that sideline finally when, when Katie breaks through with the goal to tie and then immediately Myra gives you guys the lead? It was awesome. I'm just so happy um, to see us finding a way to convert on penalty corners in particular. And um, we've been working on that throw into the circle a bunch and talking about it a lot. And it was awesome to, to see us finally uh, score a goal on that. And Katie and Abby, for both of you guys, you guys are both big parts of the corners. Usually you guys usually touch the ball on almost every penalty corner. So was it a little frustrating to have, you know, eight or nine without scoring and then what did you guys do to finally break through and get one to score to tie it in the third quarter? Yeah, it was definitely a little bit frustrating. I think like the biggest thing that we need to focus on is just to keep continuing to adjust, like seeing what they're doing right that's causing us not to score and then adjusting to that. And I think we did a good job doing that. You know, they were getting sticks and feet on a lot of our direct hits, so we started changing it up a little bit and um, we ended up being successful, which is exciting. Yeah, it was definitely great to make those adjustments, and I think we were able to find a way. We just had to know that we were kept trying to get those corners because we were getting good opportunities on cage. We knew that if we kept shooting, one would go in. Uh, Abby, that pass to Myra, uh, we've seen you do it before. How often do you work on that, and, and how good of a feeling was it to see it work today for the game-winning goal? Yeah, we've talked about that play a lot. Um, we tried it a lot in the F&M games um, the past two weeks, and we got so close, and then today, um, we're calling for it, and then it was just great. Myra played the ball perfectly, like snuck in there. They had no idea she was there and finished. And, and so it just felt great to finally get that one to go in. So we have been working on that one a lot. <laughs> and coach, for you guys now, obviously only two losses on the season. It, it's been a while since you guys have dropped a game. So how good does the team feel moving on in the NCAA tournament? Do, do you feel like you guys are getting close to, to playing your best field hockey at the right time? I do. Um, definitely one game at a time, one day at a time. We don't take anything for granted and just happy to have an opportunity to play tomorrow. And and last thing, doing this last weekend where you, you play a big game, you get one night of rest and you play another big game. How much does that prepare you for this weekend? Biggest games of the year, you, know, you don't get any days of rest. You come right back out and play a huge game tomorrow. Yeah, I think we're ready. <laughs> Thanks, guys, and congrats on the victory. Thank you. Thank you.